This is the 2021 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. If you're looking for a new SUV, then this beauty of a 4Runner is the perfect choice. The 4Runner TRD Pro is an awesome off-road vehicle thanks to the TRD Pro package. With 17-inch flow form alloy wheels, the TRD tuned Fox shocks, and a towing hitch. This SUV still gets the job done on the pavement as well. With pedestrian detection alert, lane departure alert, dynamic cruise control, and a mobile hotspot feature that will have you riding safely and comfortably wherever you go. The best part is that this 4Runner is covered by Toyota's certified pre-owned warranties. Today, we're taking CJ Valerian for a drive. The 6'2 defenseman has enjoyed a solid start to his first month with the dogs, tallying two goals and three assists in his first 13 games out of the college ranks for Roanoke. CJ, how we doing, hey. man? Doing well, how you doing? I'm Mitch Stewart, and this is Driving with the Dogs. Doing well, doing well. Let's uh, get you buckled up here. You ready to do a little driving with the dogs? Let's do it. Heck yeah, we'll take you uh, take you downtown. we got to get you sightseeing since you're so new here to, to Roanoke. Get you all acclimated. Your first month here in the pro game, you signed right out of college. What do you think has been maybe the biggest adjustment for you since signing out of college? Well, it's been day by day. You learn every day. You know, um, I guess the biggest adjustment, um, I'd say the level of play, uh, not just speed and skill, but also how the game is played, um, especially with how Coach Dan coaches. It's very detailed, and um, I guess really dedicating your whole life to it. it. It's different in college, you know, you have to deal with school and there's other priorities but here it's it's all hockey and it's been great so far and I've been loving it. We talked about coming in and playing for Dan. I want to know what that process was like kind of as your college season was wrapping up. How did the rail yard dogs kind of come into the picture for you? So really one of my uh, close friends from prep school at Gilmore Academy, Brad Riccardi, he used to play here for the rail yard dogs and uh, he had a great experience here. He said how passionate the city is about the hockey and how great Coach Dan is. So um, I really knew that this is where I wanted to come and I got in contact with Coach Dan right when the season ended. As I understand, you grew up in Gate Mills, Ohio, correct? Yeah, Gates Mills, it's uh, right outside of Cleveland. So, oh, okay, so are you are you a uh, fellow Browns fan? You and Josh did at all? Yeah, m me and men's, you know, we, uh, <laughs> we ride with the Browns no matter what. Well, just growing up there and kind of getting your start into hockey, how old were you when you kind of got into the sport, and what was that like growing up for you there in Gates Mills? Yeah, so, I mean, really, I, I think I, I started playing street hockey in my neighborhood. My parents knew nothing about hockey, um, so I started playing roller hockey, and then um, I'd say when I was about six, started you know, playing ice hockey, and um, my mom and dad learned along the way. So, um, yeah, and then from there, um, I went to Gilmore for high school and um, really played there most of my life. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's not much Cleveland or not much hockey in Cleveland, but um, it's really expanding and it was great growing up there and playing hockey. Well, you ended up playing most of your college career at New England College there in New Hampshire. What was your playing experience like uh, playing up there for New England? Uh, yeah, so I played juniors in New Hampshire, so I was really familiar with the area and um, I felt like it was a good place to uh, really succeed at school and in hockey. So my experience with hockey, we had a really strong conference, the New England Hockey Conference. Um, most of the teams are ranked throughout the year. In my opinion, it's the strongest uh, Division Three conference, but if you ask the guys from the other conferences who played D3 uh, on the team, they'll say their conferences. But uh, no, the hockey was great there. Um, Coach Tom Carroll and Travis Bunga were great to me and uh, really gave me the best opportunity to become a better hockey player and succeed on the ice and off the ice. Your first pro shift your first pro shot when you joined the team against Knoxville back in February. You're able to put the puck in the back of the net for your first pro goal. What was kind of going through your head when you launched that first shot and were able to score so early on in your pro career? Well, I mean, before your first pro game, a lot's going through your mind, you know. Even 
going into warm-ups. You know, you don't know, you're so used to where you're coming from, uh, warming up. A lot's going through your mind, but once it comes to just playing, and uh, you just play hockey, you know. And uh, really, I was just trying to work as hard as I could, and you know, not not a lot was going through my mind. Just I wanted that puck, and once I got it, I wanted to rip it at the net, and it worked out in my favor. And luckily, we could get on the board early, and uh, from there, it took a little bit of the pressure off. Um, even though you know, st still wanted to play well the rest of the game, it you know could take a little bit of a breath, you know, and say that there's, there's, there was some success in the game. For fans that maybe have not had the chance to see you play in person yet, how would you kind of describe your play style, your mindset out there on the ice? Someone that goes every shift, you know, someone who is always working, always looking to join the rush offensively, but not afraid to make contact and play a, phys a physical game as well, because I'm a big body, I like to use it. Um, but I know I can contribute offensively and stop pucks from going in our net. So really, I, I like to play an all-around game, and whatever is working or whatever we need that game, that's what I'm willing to give. So wh whatever it takes, you know, that's uh, that's what I'm willing to bring to the table. Well, you did finally have your first couple of home games against Macon. And you all were able to pull out two big wins in those contests. What was that first experience like for you playing in front of the home fans here in the Star City? Yeah, the, the fans here are super passionate, and it, it was uh, great. After you know nine games being on the road, some tough games, you know, not not finding uh, much success. Um, we found some success, but n not through winning and being at home and finding what we needed to to get the wins it was it, it, it was great it was it was really special um, we have such a passionate fan base and um, it's great to hear that roar and especially when you're winning everyone's happy so. what do you kind of think is maybe the mindset of the team as you guys try to wrap up this playoff spot and enter the president's cup on a good note well like you said the president's cups coming up playoff hockey that's what's on our mind every weekend we treat it like a playoff series and with playoffs coming up so quickly you know that's our mindset and I really think it's it's changed how we played um, playing a little bit harder giving a little bit more um, those the finer details mattering more um, everyone's bearing down and doing what it what it will take to win a championship this year so we're starting it off right now and uh, hopefully able to swing that momentum all the way through playoffs into the finals. Is there anything maybe that I didn't get to that you'd like to mention or maybe just kind of a last message for the fans that are listening to this th uh, today? Thank you for being supportive through uh, our, our uh, little skid there to start off and you know coming home we were welcomed with open arms and great positive attitudes from our fans and it really helped us out a lot get on the board early and uh you know that home ice advantage it, it, it's real here in star city so i want to thank the fans and uh, i'm looking forward to playing here for the next couple of weekends yeah we're definitely looking forward to having you here down the stretch and hopefully maybe even longer than that um, as you're just kind of getting your your stride getting into your first professional season here. We hope that uh, you continue the success down the stretch here and that hopefully we can get you into the President's Cup playoffs. Absolutely. So. Thanks, Mitch. Appreciate, Appreciate it, man. Yeah. All right. Have a good one. Yeah. Take it easy. Too. Driving with the Dogs is sponsored by Haley Toyota, the official ride of your rail yard dogs. Visit Haley Toyota online at HaleyHasItForLess.com and stay tuned for more episodes coming soon.